Hi, in this video, I'll teach you how to create an animated team introduction slide in PowerPoint. I am Ram Gopal from PrezoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The creative animated team introduction slide you will learn to create today looks like this. At the click of a button, a hand brings in the photo of the person and the name and then on the next click, the hand brings in the second person and the details. It's a very interesting way to present a team introduction slide. Let me show you how to create this beautiful and useful team introduction slide from scratch. There are three components that we're going to play with. One is the picture of the person. Here you can replace this picture with any other picture of your choice. Then we have some text more likely the name of the person or some description about the person. And third, the picture of a hand. Let me go to the animations tab in PowerPoint ribbon and keep the animation pane open so you can see what I'm going to do here on the slide. As you can see, there is no animation whatsoever here. I'm going to create the animation after I arrange the various things on the slide properly. Now I'm going to keep this photo right somewhere in the middle like this. And then I'm going to place the name of the person right underneath. And then I'm going to have the hand on top of the picture. And please see that I have the bottom part of the photo corresponding with the bottom edge of the slide area. Now we have got the arrangement in place. That is this hand photo is right on top. And then we have the rest of the elements behind. The next step is to add animation. The first thing we are going to do is to get the photo and the picture of the hand enter the scene with a fly-in animation. So I'm going to select this, hold the shift button down as I select the second object, which is the hand. And then I'm going to introduce fly-in animation. And the default direction is from the bottom. I'm going to change the direction to from left. So these two objects are coming in from the left. Next, we want the hand to leave the scene as the name of the person gets introduced. So I am selecting this hand picture again and I'm going to add animation. Please make sure that you add animation and not use any of the animations here because there is already an animation associated with this object. And if you choose one of these animations again, then it will replace the earlier animation. So be careful there. I'm going to add animation to the same object by going to add animation option. And this time I'm going to use an exit option. The exit option I'm going to use is fly out animation. So I'm going to choose fly out. And that is how the hand leaves. Now this is going to happen after the picture and the hand are brought into the scene. So I'm going to say that this is going to happen after previous. Now while this is moving down, I want the name to appear. So I'm going to select the name and then I'm going to allow it to enter the scene using float in animation. The default direction of float in is from the bottom. This time I want it to float down. So this is the animation that's going to happen. And make sure that both the animation timings are the same. As you can see here, this is one second duration, whereas the previous one is only 0.5. So we need to match it. So I'm going to have the duration of this reduced to 0.5. So they both match. And since I said that the name should appear while this hand leaves the scene, I'm going to have this as with previous. Now let us read this in English. On the click, I have the photo, which is the oval and the picture of the hand both enter the scene using fly in animation. And after they enter, the hand is going to leave the scene along with the name floating in. Now let us go to the slideshow mode and see what happens. On a click, two objects come in, the hand leaves and the name of the person appears. So that is how you create the animation. Of course, you can always copy the same thing to this side and make a duplicate and keep it on this side. You can replace this picture with another picture. And this time you can have both of these. 
you can see these two animations instead of coming in from left you can have them coming from right and then the rest of the stuff can remain the same you can change the name of the person here and you can change the photo of the person now the way it will work is on the first click I introduce the first person and the next click I introduce the next person and that is how you introduce two different people onto the slide and onto the slide so this is the basic technique of creating an interesting team introduction slide now let me show you some examples of animated team introduction slides taken from our complete trainers bundle this is an example let me go to the slideshow mode on a click I have the first member introduced and the details are shared and then the second member and then the third member and then the fourth member so this is another way to have your team introduction here not only do you have the name but also some interesting details of the member is also shared here right underneath a variation of the slide is this one where we use the Polaroid picture effect for the person and the name and then we provide additional explanation about the member you can see that we have this interesting pin that is uh, pinning this photo onto the board or the slide and here we introduce the second member third member and finally the fourth member another variation of a team introduction slide is this one which shows the key member and the role and this third member and the fourth member now it's not necessary that you need to have a lot of members introduced in one slide you can have just one person introduced on the slide and you can provide some interesting tidbits about the person like the way that we are showing here you can talk about some personal details and professional achievements etc and you can have multiple slides each one for different members in your team uh, and finally if you don't want any animation and you want your team introduction slides to look fairly simple you can use an option like this now all these varieties are available in our complete trainers bundle and if you are someone who is introduced in taking your training presentations to the next level then I highly recommend you take a look at our complete trainers bundle complete trainers bundle is a collection of 4022 high quality PowerPoint templates to allow you to create professional quality training presentations in a matter of minutes all the slides are created using our proprietary neuro slide design system which uses cutting-edge neuroscience principles to create presentations that leave a lasting impression in your audience's mind. Whether you want to visualize flows, components, concepts and metaphors, cause and effect, number slides and infographics, models and frameworks, timelines and roadmaps, you have all the slide types available readily for you to use in your training presentations in Complete Trainers Bundle. You can find more details about Complete Trainers Bundle by clicking on the button here. I'll also leave a link to the product in the description area below this video. Before we close this video, just one more thing. Do you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting, even if your topic is dry and boring? Then please click here to sign up for a fun 7-day email course. It's a totally free course and if you're a trainer or a course creator, you can't afford to miss the course. I'll see you on the inside.